Hi, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and um, I'm working on the Bohemian Journal today and I took out all the things that we created uh, during the challenges and also um, from the, the boho beads uh, things because that wasn't in the challenge but I put a boho bead on the um, tassel that is in the challenge and the latest challenge is making dream catchers and i made three in total one made of paper and one made of a doily piece and i have two videos actually on how i made these because it was a very long process for each um dream catcher so i divided it in part one that is making this kind and the second video part two is making like a paper um, kind and in the first week we had the little passport challenge and I've seen many different versions of this one already in the Facebook group um, these are all the same because one of them was a prototype the second one was one that I made after I um, how do you say that made the prototype better <laughs> and Today I have to work on the journal and you saw me make the cover. I'm just going to clean up all the all the eye candy. Yeah, this is a collaboration between uh, Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts and myself. We made a kit together and we also have freebies. Suzanne has freebies on her uh, Kofi page and in the Facebook group. <clears throat> and I have my freebies in my Facebook group and also my Kofi page and every all the information is down below so check the information uh, just wanted to show you real quick an update on where I am now with um, yeah, with the, um, the journal and I have here the freebies from this week uh, and I do have to put this one in and I already used the feathers on the dream catcher and the other stuff I already have cut out. And I have to answer, I think, two questions. I'm not sure who asked me the first question that was about my um, name, how to pronounce my uh, family name. Um, well, actually, my family name is not Heine. Uh, that is my husband's name. But uh, you pronounce it like Heine. Heine. Natalie Heine. That's my name. So... I think, I'm not sure it was Cheryl or Rhonda, but one of those ladies asked me how to pronounce it. So it is Heine. If you're watching, it's Heine. And the other one was from Minka, Minka Buys. She asked me a question about the scan and cut, if I have one. Yes, I have one. I have one for, I think, maybe almost two years or at least one and a half year. Pretty sure about that. I have one video on my channel where I'm cutting, cutting out, I think it was the butterflies, I'm not sure. Um, if I love it, yeah, I really, really love it. I use it uh, with every kit. That's why I have the borders around all the embellishment pieces and the tags and the pockets. So the scan and cut cuts out the, the images. Um, really good because if you don't have a border and you have a lighter pattern like lacy and very light colors it is going to cut inside your card uh, for instance um, if I would let me grab one if you have these these will go okay but if you have this he will also going to cut inside this so it does need a border to actually only cut out the tag. Maybe it's also uh, an adjustment I can make myself. You saw me make the cover. Um, yeah, you saw me make the cover also the inside. You also saw, well, not the, I didn't glue the inside on camera. And I made the binding over here. And yeah, put some lace over here. And I have three signatures. And I already did all the edging. And I also added some other pages like coffee dyed, food colored paper, 
Um, this is the middle part already. Our book pages with flowers. I also have some grid, I think. Some ledger. I want to put this one over here. That's why it's over there. A little music paper. So I made like fabric tabs on all the... Well, not all, but I think I have about nine tabs, if I'm correct. Maybe even ten. And this is the third. And on this one I already um, put this lady with some cheesecloth. And this is um, to put in a tag. So that's why this is in. So I remember it is a pocket. Um, this is a little Frankenstein paper because it was ripped. And then I thought maybe I can just put this on. Another tab. Signature paper. Um, this one over here I have a fabric flip. So yeah, a lot of fun things. And on this side, this is the book page. And I did reinforce the middle part a bit, a little bit because it was a ripped over here. And I put some cheesecloth over it. Well, I can take it out. I can show you. And I just sew, sew it over and it's on both the sides. And on this side I made a vellum bag. Put on one of the frames. First so on the... No, I did I did so on the frame on the paper first. And then cut it to size over here. And I made this uh, journal card slash tag to go in here. So I thought this was cute. But I didn't do too much. I have a lot of things to do. And I also have to put in um, the dream catcher, at least one of them. First I thought about putting it on front and gluing it down over here or sewing it on and have it like this. Uh, but I'm not sure, so maybe you can tell me if I need to keep the cover like this or... I would be, I think this would be the best place to put it on. Put it over here like it is part of the cover. So not like a dangle, but actually um, glued on. And I, I guess I can leave a little bit of the strings that it goes this way, but um, kind of arranged on the cover. So let me know. If I put it on, if I have to put it on or not, and okay, which one should I put on? Because I'm not certain. I'm, I'm, I think this one. So let me know in the comments, a yes or no, with the cover, with the dream catcher, or without the dream catcher. So I guess I'm not going to put a dream catcher in the journal yet, because if it's going to be on the front, I'm not going to put one in the in the journal also. I have been, well, not me, but Mr. Scan and Cut, have been cutting out all my bits and pieces. I have a little box over here with all the things that I can use. And I want to create, well, I want to have a tag in here for sure. And it has to be one of the bigger ones. Also very sure about that. Okay, I have a few things that can be used in the front pocket. I have this. Make something out of this. Maybe like so. Also have this. This is one of the freebies of Suzanne. And you see I have cut it with a scan and cut. And the back side is covered with a paper pad page. And it, uh, I glued it on. And it's... It's very, very sturdy. I also have these large tags. Oh, if I would, you would you? So, so sorry. If I would use one of these, I would use this one. I think. Yeah, the blue one. So we have this as an option. This or this, and I also can 
because I have large, even larger tags in here. Maybe that's even better. I also thought about this girl. And then I thought about using the girl in the front and this as a backing. I can also put in... No, no, it's the girl. This or this. Okay, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure... I do like this too. Can I put this in the back too? What do I have at the back? Oh, I can put it in the back too. Is it glued together? No. No, it's not. <gasps> I was in shock. Um, I can put this over here too. So maybe I'm going to put this one over here. That's settled. And now I have to decide whether I'm going to put this one in or both. That's an option too. Mm, let's start. Let's start with this. Yeah, I'm going for this one. So I'm going to quickly cut out this uh, back it, and then uh, we are going to embellish this tag. I am going to ink. I also have blue ink, and I want to also uh, do a little bit of blue inking. <laughs> Oh, I do like this blue. And the blue that I'm using is uh, Broken China from Rager. It's the Stress Ink. Not the Stress, the stress Oxide, but Ink. I don't know about you. I don't really like the Oxides. Um, I don't know why, but I just don't. I use them, but I do like the inks better than the, um, the Oxides. I'm going to do something because I really don't like the the edges over here. I'm just going to run this marker alongside. Yeah, yeah, I think this is better. It's a lot of work, I know, but uh, I do wanna, I do wanna make them pretty. Let me just check. Um, who's going in here? And I thought about putting something over here, not on the top exactly, but maybe more to the right, tilted to the right. I have butterflies cut out. Okay, I have all the little bits and pieces over here. Um, I was thinking about just putting on this is the wrong angle. Putting on these. Or maybe one, or maybe these and these. Maybe I should use this tab. It's a cute tab. I really like the shape of this one. Maybe it's not going to work on this. Should I put on a little... Okay, first I'm going to glue the butterflies together so I can decide. Oh, now I'm thinking I should also could glue it on like so. But I also want to <laughs> sew over the, the tag. If I put it on like this and glue this on the back side, it's the same on both sides. So let me quickly sew over the tag. 
So I did sew around the tag really quickly. Um, I think I need to glue this one now too. I also forgot to ink. What am I doing? <laughs> well, maybe I can ink afterwards and maybe it doesn't need inking. Um. Okay. I think I have them together. Yeah, I did. Let me just do this. But yeah, with the scan and cut, you can cut out butterflies like this, even with these little... So, which is... Well, I think it's pretty cool that it's even possible. I couldn't do this with a, with a pair of scissors. I, I always cut off the the thingies because they are too small for me. I don't like the way the white over here. Yeah, I'm very detailed as you can see. Um, I have this one on. Still debating if I'm going to put on another butterfly or just a piece of fabric and put on Dream. Maybe that's that's enough. I have this piece of fabric. I'm not sure if it's. Yeah, it can be. So. It is with a little bit of blue. To glue it on the fabric. Oh, I, I can cut off just a little strip. Yeah, it's better. Put it over the butterfly just a little, not too much. And does it need um, a tag topper? Yes, it does. And I also think it needs a little bit of lace because it's. I can use this for the tag topper. Put on the doily thingy over here. Maybe over here. This side. Maybe there is an option too. Yeah. Oh, I like 
like this yeah um yeah need to find my hole punch in one moment okay let's punch all over here in the middle it's kind of hard to determine the middle now i think it's somewhere over here Not going to put in the blue one. And I also have this laying around So, check to see how it is in the journal. I think this is a good tag for this spot. Yeah, it is. I did want to put an eyelid in here too. where or maybe I don't need to put in an eyelet and maybe I can just put on one of the beads this one Sure, if I like this one, I do like the bead, but I'm not sure if it's the the right one on the um, It does need something else and I don't think I like the bulk pin color um, yeah one moment so I have another bulk pin over here it's like the antique color and I also want to put on some beads I also have this. I thought, how cool is this? Uh, to put it on, but I'm not sure about it. I can just try. Okay, it's not going to work.
Hmm, maybe it is fun. Um, but what I don't like is that it's very not, um, very not. It's very plasticky. Although I do like it, but I I think it needs uh, like a little bit of aging. So let's see if I can manage to do that. I have some of my alcohol inks over here. Not sure if it's going to work. Maybe just a tiny bit. Maybe I can even use this. Okay, I needed to find these. Oh, dropped it. But it does work. I don't want to get all the ink over my hands. It's very difficult to get it off. Well, it's not difficult. You can use bleach, but then my nail polish will be gone too. Okay, this is too much. Well, maybe I can make the back side like this. That's, that's even better. I want to flip it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> flip it back. Maybe. Yeah, I like that. I also have this is bottle green, patina, maybe this. I have a blue one too, yeah, sort of. Oh, this is really. I'm not sure if you can see the word travel still. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. I also want to put a little bit of the ink on the. Um, Silver bead. It's because I still have it left, otherwise I wouldn't do this. Okay, where's the tag? I thought about putting it through the tag on the side, but I'm going to do it like this. Well, you can still see it. It's not as clear as it was, the word travel, but it's still there. And I do like it. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I also have these blingy thingies. Thinking, should I put something blingy? Over here, maybe not. Maybe like on the on the butterfly, like so. Yeah, yeah. I think this is cute. Let me just glue it on properly because this is going to be gone in a few seconds.
This is tag number one. Put it in the journal. This one, for sure. Also debating what I'm going to put like lace over here. Yeah, just need a little bit of lace. To the inside. Yeah. Okay. Something else. And now it's finished. Yeah. This is cute. So let's go um, a little bit further in the journal. I'm, I'm going to make something else, a little bit embellishment, and I'm going to work also off camera, but I want to do another little thing today too. I'm going to work with this, but I'm thinking it's better over here, the tag, because then the dangly bits can hang over here. Maybe that's better. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it over here. That's a better spot. Yeah, so change my mind. Uh, I want to work with this and I want to create, I want to turn this into a tag and I want this piece over the The edge, I'm just looking for a spot that is the best. Oh, I think this is a, this is a great spot. And I need to put something over here. And I'm wondering what I'm going to put over. <laughs> I really don't know. I saw a lot of cute things with little images and everything, but I don't have very small images. I don't have enough in the kit um, that I can put, because of course I can put these over. Yeah, I do think these would be fun on, on other checks or journal pages, so feels like wasting these cute things I can try and I also don't think I have enough of these It can be cute, but I think it's a waste of all the little elements. I, I, I do want to put these in the journals. Oh yeah, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I can put her in the middle. Or her. If I put her, yeah. I can also put this one in the middle. Or this one, and this one. So that there's a lot of there's a lot of choice to put something in the middle. But I have to figure out what I'm going to do on the outside. Okay, I have an idea. Um, I thought I would glue on or stitch on. I'm not sure yet. Little fabric pieces on here. Maybe that's fun too. I found some leftover pieces. I think I used these in a previous boho journal. 
So maybe this can this can work. This is cute. Although it's going to be tough to put it in a pocket this way. So maybe it's not going to end up in one of the pockets but on a page. But I do like I do like the concept of this. It's supposed to be something different, I know, but I thought maybe I can make maybe I can do this instead. Piece of this. It's a tiny piece. <laughs> I used to have a lot of these trims. Um, I bought them. Uh, I always went to a store in Greece and I bought a lot of trims over there every year when I went there on a holiday. Um, but we didn't go there for a few years, of course, because of the Corona crisis thing. And when I finally went, the store didn't exist anymore. Which I really didn't like. But yeah. It's gone. But I like the idea of putting on little bits and pieces over here. I'm not so sure I like every piece that I have already, but maybe I can change things up. I don't think this is enough. No, it's not. But these are really leftover pieces from my previous journal I made, a boho journal. I made one journal, a boho journal before. So this is actually my second one. do it like so. I need two more pieces. Okay, I can also I have also this. This is blingy too. Put it on here. Okay, need some other fabric. Okay. This was a pillowcase and I cut it apart to use it in the other journal. I was so happy when I found this pillowcase, but when I tried to cut it, <laughs> uh, most of the pillowcase fell apart because it was very old. So I couldn't use every piece. Um, that was on the Yeah, on the pillowcase, some was just falling apart. I could tear it apart in my hands. It was just, yeah, I really, I really didn't like that. But yeah. So. 
me, I'm going to put this one over here. This one over here. No, I don't like this one over there. Oh, it's going to be something like this. I think it's fun. Just going to glue it on with a little bit of glue. Uh, run it under the sewing machine. Not sure how am I going to sew them on, to be honest. Maybe I'm going to sew uh, all over the circle. Maybe that's a good thing to do. So yeah, I'm going to glue on all the pieces. I glued on all the pieces and I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the tab. Because I need to put on the tab too. But I really like, I really like this. I think it's a fun thing. I know it's not supposed to be this way, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, maybe this is a good spot. I think so. First, let me glue on this part. Now I have to glue on this part. Also had these. These came with the passport freebies. Um, and this is in um, I think this is week one freebie from Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. So if you are interested in this one, check out her Kofi page. Or the Facebook group Junk Journaling for Everyone because they are over there too. And my face, my Facebook, my freebies can be found in the Facebook group Line.Arrow and also on my Kofi page. Not sure if this will fit. I can make it fit. Well, first let me do some sewing. I also have to figure out what I'm going to do with this. One, two, three. We will see. I think it's a fun thing. So, I uh, need some inking too. Forgot. And this can be a writing spot on the back side, so... It's like sort of a tag. I, th I think it's fun. It's not a lot of ink coming off. So I'm going to ink a little bit over here. And I'm still debating whether I'm going to do some stenciling on the back. But I am. <laughs> I am going to stencil. I'm going to stencil over here, of course. Otherwise, I will be stenciling over the girl's head. Oh, 
Oh, this is cool. Just going to shift it a little. And now I'm going in with a vintage photo. I like this so yeah now I need to do some sewing so I did a sewing um, I'm not sure if I like the back side as much as I like the front side but I'm going to leave it anyway maybe just maybe I can make it a little bit more blue better a little bit more blue still thinking about maybe I should can, can glue this one over here so it has a centerpiece too on this side and I had the word journey cut out sure if I'm able to glue it on but what if I just cut it smaller and put it on a little bit higher and I also need to put oh there's a lot of glue everywhere I also need to put in the, the middle piece Oh, <laughs> this fits really well if I just glue these down a little. Okay, this is cool. And I wanted to glue on her. Well, I think this one. This one is really good. Oh, I can also put on this one. All the flowers. No, I think the girl. Sorry, I keep changing my mind. I do think I need to sew over her too and then glue it on. And then on the white thingies over here, I thought just put in some eyelets. The biggest one I have. And I have like stars, but I also flowers. I need three, oh, three flowers. Okay. I think I only have three flowers, and the third one is in here. <laughs> I can't find it. The third one but this is not the same color do i mind i think i do also the blue flower i don't like the blue sorry i'm not even going to try so i have this one in okay obviously Rabbit needs to be more over here. Okay. Don't you glue a blue strip underneath? So it's covered. 
Golden Silk. I have the same thing over here too. Uh, just a little. Needs just a little. And I can glue this one. I don't like seeing the white. Please stay on. I'm not sure if this one will hold. No, this will not hold. Okay, maybe. I need a piece of that. So yeah, sorry, this is taking me ages, but I really, I really love how this is turning out. So. And I need to put in two more eyelids. The only thing I don't like, the white over here. It's going to... And I'm trying not to punch through the stitching. Which is not easy. I'm pretty sure this one is not going to cover up the whole white area. We have to figure out. have this it's going to do that and then problem solved Yeah, Ooh, I do really like this. I'm quite happy about this. Yeah, this is fun. I'm going to sew around her and then we're going to glue her on. So I did the sewing part. I'm going to use my fabric tag to make sure it will stay on when I put it in and out of the pocket. If I will put it on a pocket because maybe that's not even possible. But we will see. I will try. And if it's not working, then yeah, it's not working. It's a mess on my desk. I also found this. This is cute, isn't it? Can I do something with this too? No. No, no, no. it's enough. For now, it's enough. Oh, I think this works. How cute is this? <laughs> I'm really happy about this. So yeah, um, something different. Uh, although I like the ones with the real pictures in it, uh, but I I don't have these pictures. Um, yeah, I could make some digital, of course, but I I thought this was a cool cool way of using it too. So yeah, two things today: this one and this one. Um, let me know what you think, and also tell me about the dream catcher. Yes or no on the front cover. Um, but I hope you like this video, uh, like, leave a comment, subscribe, um, thank you all for joining in in the challenges by the way, but I said that many times, but I really enjoy it, and uh, I hope to see you the next time, uh, greetings from the Netherlands, bye bye, bye.